Hi, I'm Demetrius Malbro, cloud advocate here, joined with Ryan Bahil, Kubernetes resiliency expert. How are you, Ryan? Pretty good, how are you? I'm doing just great. Now, I am curious with this flashy diagram, what's actually going on in this diagram here? Can you explain yeah. it to me? You bet. So, Veritas provides resiliency and protection for Kubernetes, and a big part of that is that we're actually a storage provider for Kubernetes as well. So that's what you see here. So where you have our Veritas InfoScale solution providing both persistent and ephemeral storage for stateless and stateful applications running in a Kubernetes cluster. So what's kind of interesting here is if you have applications that are developed using this microservices architecture, we can support nearly any kind of storage requirement you have for that application running in Kubernetes, whether you're using ephemeral storage, persistent storage, or both. And we can do that in a way that tailors to your application. So it used to be just persistent volumes and persistent storage for stateful. Yeah. When did stateless ephemeral when did applications? This yeah, this is yeah. our latest release, so you have the ability to actually use both options. If you want uh, ephemeral storage using our solution, that's absolutely possible, but okay. more so uh, persistent storage is going to be the big thing you'll be looking for here. So, so what's the ultimate, I guess, business outcome around using a solution like this especially for your applications when you want them to, to be resilient, right? Yeah, absolutely. So the big thing here is like you can use one solution to provide any kind of storage that you're going to need for any kind of application you may have developed, in the microservices architecture or anything else. Um, so you kind of get this one unified view of what you're doing here within Kubernetes. We're providing the storage for that, and we can do it based on whatever your application needs, right? All is one okay. simple, easy, software-based, containerized solution. So maybe walk us through a quick flow of kind of how things are flowing with the pods and containers and everything. Yeah, you, you don't bet. Mind. Yeah. So it's fairly straightforward. So as you can see here, our solution actually installs as containers within the Kubernetes cluster, which is very cool in itself. Makes it really easy to use and easy to set up. So that solution here is providing storage based on what you have stored in your worker nodes, or it can even be external SAN storage. It's using that storage to provide persistent and ephemeral storage to applications running in containers, which is what you see up here. Uh, and again, we can do all of that as a single solution, and that can be using you know, the storage you have in your worker nodes, or it can be using external storage in, say, a SAM somewhere else. But, and I uh, see the uh, the CSI over there. What, what exactly right, yeah. is that doing? So it's all based on CSI, so we have our own plugin that we've developed to make this all happen, and all of our storage is based on CSI. Okay, awesome, awesome. And does it matter if you're on-prem, you have just on-prem workloads, or in the cloud? Does it matter? Uh, there is support for both, but for the most part, uh, where we're seeing more uh, this type of usage is on-prem, but yeah, both are supported. So. All right, well, I, I think I understand it a lot better now, Ryan, so I really appreciate you taking the time out to kind of run this down for us, and I hope that you also gain some information around protecting your Kubernetes workload as well. Thank you.